benefited. Ball tried to find Venderly up in the middle. That's going to be picked off by, tw- uh, that is Bojin. However, Berkey there to pick that uh, picked up that loose ball. Travels out of bounds. It's going to be throw in Sienna Heights. Again, Berkey is the fresh set of legs here in the midfield. Ball is back in the middle now. Reed finds Venderly. Eshelman now comes to the near side to Francois Revalier. He drops it back to Romero. Romero switches the field looking for Kurtz and Venderly working together on the far sideline. Kurtz with it. Back to Venderly in the middle. He's going to drive it in looking for Newsbaum. Hits off of the back of his heel. Not quite perfect timing there. Now in the middle with it, it's Santos. That Santos ball. plays at fall so- far side. Yeah, that ball spun away there a little bit from Newsbaum. Couldn't quite get the touch that he was hoping for. Ball is played into the Maple Leaf defense. Escalante plays it to the sideline, and Seth Kurtz able to get yeah. back to that one before it travels over the line. Beautiful save there. Chup with it now. Looks upfield. Trying to find either Huerta or Newsbaum. Splits the two and right to a Siena Heights defender. Now in the middle with it, it's Lentini. Tries to play a through ball. That's to McLaughlin. He's going to grab Chup, trying to get by him. Foul against McLaughlin. Great play there by Chup, just a little out of position. Then he turned it over, but he read that. He telegraphed that pass, and then he got a foul. Great play by Chup. Although it does look like a little bit uh, more (laughs) than he was hoping for there, but the job was done. Four minutes, 15 seconds left here in the first half. Escalante to take the free kick and drives it up to Huerta. However, Bojin steps in front to win the header. Ball's now down on the ground to Chan, or Khan, excuse me. Khan plays it to Lentini. He plays it up the near sideline. Chup's going to get to that one first. Drops back to Escal- Escalante for the clear. Ball in the middle of that. Reed settles it down to Francois Revalier. He gets down on the ground. Tries to find Huerta in the middle. However, that's going to be picked off by Stalzer. Stalzer pops it up, and it's going to be Huerta heading the ball, however, over the near sideline, throw in Siena Heights. Right here on the near side in the middle, thrown in to Santos. A little give and go there from Santos and Carniera, then plays it to the left corner here. That's going to be Lentini and Francois Ravalier battling for it. Francois Ravalier is going to clear it out. Another throw in for Siena Heights. throw in. Looks like it's going to be Stalzer stepping up to take the throw. 42 minutes played. 1-0 Goshen. In the box is Santos. Flicks it over Romero. However, not able to get past Francois or Valier. Huerta and Nussbaum working 5-2 on five on two really. However, they have the ball. Huerta tries to tap it past Bojin. Unable to do so. Trying to track back to win it. However, Bojin able to get it up the line to Lentini. Lentini tries to play it up to his forwards. Unable to do so now. Goshen College with possession. It's Berkey in the middle battling for it. Ball ends up at McLaughlin. He tries to turn and run, however. Tripped up by Romero. They're going to get the free kick there. Didn't Two and a half minutes. It didn't seem like Incidental much, count, much contact. contact but contact none the least. So this be. one's roughly 40, 45 yards out. Not quite much of a shot opportunity here, but definitely a delivery for a good ball. And they it's going to be Carniero. Drives it in to the far post, curls up, and I believe that is going to be Reed back there to clear that one out. Carniero settles and takes a rip. That travels beyond the far post into the backup goal, way beyond the field there. Goal kick. Still one nothing, and that was a good chance for Siena Heights, or at least it could have been. But now Escalante boots downfield. Come the other way now. It's Venderly going three on three on three with a trailing four on four. Takes the end line and puts a cross in. That's going to be deflected over the end line by Twally Bog. Corner kick with a minute and 30 seconds left here in the first half. Seventh corner for the Maple Leafs. Unbelievable. Seven corner kicks in it's, one half. It is amazing. And, and it looks like Santa Heights just trying to clear it. And, you know, if they allow a corner, it just seems like they're content with it. But... One for six so far is Goshen in this game from the corner. And they're looking to make that two out of seven. Vanderly stands over the ball in the far corner. 
plays it with his right foot, meaning spins in towards the goal. Standing on the post to clear it. That's going to be Chwalibog. Ball comes back out to Venderly on the far side. Tries it again. This one comes towards the far post. Newsbaum there, however. Hisamatsu able to get a punch on that one and continue it on over to the near sideline. Chasing it down is Stalzer coming the other direction. Huerta there in defense. Not much you can do there. Tip your cap to uh, their goalie, Hisamatsu, with a great punch out to really clear it out. All he could do in that spot anyway. 38 seconds left here in the first half, and the ball's all the way back with Goshen goal goalkeeper Johan Escalante. Plays to the near sideline, looking for some possession here. Clock now down to 25 seconds. Ball is switched to Venderly on the far sideline, guarded by Wilkie. Wilkie gets a touch on it and gets around Venderly. Now under 20 seconds, 15 to be exact. Wilkie plays it to the middle to McLaughlin. Takes a rather big touch, gets it off to Santos. One last chance here. Under 10 seconds with it is Lentini takes a rip. That's going to be off the outside of the left foot instead of the inside and drives way over into the baseball field. That's going to do it for the first half here. 45 minutes of play out of the way. Goshen takes a 1-0 lead here. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have halftime statistics and some analysis to talk about how what we're seeing here this uh, evening in the first half and what to look for in terms of planning for a victory in the second half. So keep it locked right here. You're home for Goshen College Athletics. 91-1, the Globe. Well, here we are again, and i got to tell you, Jim, this match has me really concerned. Here we have a powerful heavyweight, a train, weighing in at 6,000 tons. And this hasty lightweight challenger, a car, at just one and a half tons? This does not bode well for the car or the people in it. It's no contest. Every day, people are injured or killed trying to beat a train at rail crossings. See tracks, think train. Programming on 91.1 The Globe is brought to you in part by Ignition Music Garage, a local independent record store and concert venue located at 120 East Washington Street in Goshen. Ignition Music Garage features new releases on compact disc and vinyl. Ignition also carries a selection of used vinyl and CDs. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 8. Their phone number is 574-971-8282. Ignition Music Garage in Goshen and online at ignitionmusic.net. So... I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean...